Hey, welcome back everybody, it's Shino. And we're on Planet Crafter. And we got bugs. Look. Common larva. So yeah, we are in the new update. Uh, I've been a little behind on trying to get kind of recording going again. I am using a new microphone, so let me know down in the comments how that sounds uh, with this new microphone. Uh, getting a new setup here for the recording studio. But we're in the new update, so let's take a look at this. We have insects, 29.65%. You'll now see that we do have a little icon up there. Uh, the numbers have adjusted as far as the, the steps go, so we are actually... Uh, things have progressed. I think we were pretty low last time, uh, just starting into insects. So um, this is going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, so let's get looking around here at some of the stuff. I know I'm going to need to get some food here pretty quick. And I was looking to see if there's any more insects laying around the larva. There's one. So we're going to, have to start collecting these. We're going to have to create an area for our insects to be going in at, uh, which is no big deal. Oh, I just saw that one spawn right in front of me. That was an uncommon one. Cool. Um, so we're going to have to be doing a lot of kind of new things that uh, we haven't been doing up to this point. And uh, hopefully we got some new builds going on. But first things first, let's go get some food. Uh, do I have anything in my inventory? I do. Cool. Okay. So let me get my inventory squared away and uh, then we'll come back and we'll get started. All right, so we're back. I know um, last time I was with you guys, I think I was exploring a building. I need to get back over there at the Crash Meteor site, don't I? Yeah, it's been a little bit. <laughs> but let's take a look at some of the things that have changed here. So in the bio, in the uh, bio lab or bio dome, uh, we now have where we used to have just for biomass. Uh, we now have uh, access to the biomass and plants and insects. We got a whole new uh, tree of stuff here we can do. We just got done doing the tree spreader, so we're going to go get one of those built in this episode. Um, so now we have beehives coming up at 80. And uh, insects, let's see, tree seed cerna, high quality food. Okay. So it looks like additional, oh, it's silk generators. Yeah, okay. So we got quite a few stuff here we're gonna be doing. All right, cool. Okay, and then, oh, let's look. Uh, now we can also access um, to our blueprints area. So let's take a look here, see if there's anything new. This, yeah, there we go. Incubator at five GTI, the teleporter at 25, tree spreader T3. Oh, lots of good stuff. There's the pulsar quartz crystal and the fusion energy cell. So lots of new stuff unlocked here. Tree spreader T2 that we can get to. Uh, nuclear fusion generator. We've already known about that one. And on pressure, what do we have? Everything on pressure is done. Okay. Yeah, so some new and fun and exciting stuff. Um, but let's look at what we're going to need for our tree spreader. We're going to need super alloy, bacteria sample, fertilizer, and a bioplastic nugget. So that's all going to be over here. Let's see. We should have an extra fertilizer, bioplastic nugget, and bacteria sample, and a super alloy. So the bacteria sample we don't have. Let's get one of those made. So we're gonna need three and water. Drink you, cause I just saw you. Here we go. And I think, you know what? Let's go ahead and do two of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do two of these. There's one. Two, and then we didn't have two fertilizers, did we? So we're gonna need another fertilizer. So let's get one of those made while we're at it. So we're gonna need three more algae, sulfur, three, one sulfur. Is it two? I think it's two. Yeah. 
Okay. Let's grab our super alloys. There we go. And what else do we need? We're going to need another tree bark. So we can hop right up here and grab that. I just grabbed one out of here, so we'll grab another one. All right, tree spreader. Now, I read that these need to be down near water. So I'm thinking right out here, maybe. Let's see, insert a tree seed in this to grow your first trees. Place. Oh, we're going to need uh, going to need tree seeds. Back here to the bio lab. I think I know we've got one, right? Did we get another one yet? We've got Linifolia and Solia. So we've got two. Okay. All right. Let's see what we can do with this. So it says these be placed on the water surface, huh? So let's do tree spreader. How far into the water can I get it? about like that okay let's get a tree seed planted into it where do we put the tree seed in at I'm not seeing a click okay I just moved it uh, got a little closer to it and there it goes so it didn't have to move it very far just put it right out there just a little bit more. So there we go. So that is in there. And if we look at the overlay on it, uh, 1.15 PPT on the oxygen, negative 31 on the energy plant growth is increased by 97 grams. And uh, there we go. So there's one. Let's see if we can get another one. Just a drink while we're at it. And I think this other one we're going to put back over here. Give it a little bit of growth on this side. All right, and there's the beehive. Oh, need another bioplastic nugget. All right, let's give this another go. So we're gonna make the tree spreader. Here we go. Actually, I want to try something here. Let's let's go ahead and bring this back up out of the water. Let's just try this one more time. Drop it in like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we just did get close enough to it. All right, and I'm going to drop in. Doesn't matter which one does it. We'll drop that one in. Sweet. Okay. So we got tree, two tree spreaders in. I don't think this other one's done anything yet. We'll wander back over here. Oh, no. Look. Look. We have trees. We have trees. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, why not? Give me a drink. Let's get a little closer here. There it is. That's at 31%. That is so cool. Okay. Uh, so the next thing that we had pop up was the beehive. And we need bee larva for that. I don't think we can make that yet. And I'm looking at the rest of the screen, see if there's anything new here. Yeah, I don't really see anything new as far as screens go. Let's pop up over here, take a look and see where we're at. Okay, 36.81%. Anything new on the mail? Nope, nothing new there. So it would look like we need the incubator at 5 GTI. So that's going to be just a little bit before we get to that, isn't it? That's probably going to be where we're going to have to put the larvas at. Okay. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and get an area set up. Now, 
I don't think this is something we're going to need to have set up right here. And I do know that we're going to have some new grow beds and things like that. So I would like to find a nice area where I'll have space available for the new grow beds. So let's, uh, let's think about where we want to put this at. Okay, so I got an idea here. There is um, this little lake area over here. Um, we're gonna build like a little bridge across this. And I think what I'm gonna do then is we're going to kind of uh, create a little area here. There we go. And I think with uh, kind of going across there, make it look like it's a bridge, you know what I mean? we go and I think we can build us a little nice little area right out here so I'm gonna continue uh, basically just laying down foundations coming across this way um, and then I'm probably gonna do like a little T right up here but once that's done then we'll come back in and start putting some buildings on top of it okay well, I'll be back Okay, we are getting very close to 5 GTI. That means we're gonna be able to get the incubator built here pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and drop in one of the large living compartments. And I would like to have this, I really think I would like to have this down here. Let's do like that. Let's go take a look. We're gonna have to add some more on to this, I know. <laughs> so let's go back out here. I think what I would like for this area to be is kind of like this area needs to be more about the insects. There's the incubator, I need titanium, one titanium. What are the chances there'll be a piece of titanium right there? Cool. Um, I want this to be, like I said, this needs to be, you know, about biodiversity. This needs to be the insect area. That's what we're going to make with this. So let's get that put in. I'm not going to put a doorway on this side yet. We're going to be continuing this across. We're going to be putting in more of the large rooms off here. But let's go ahead. And let's see what we're going to need for the incubator. There it is. So we're going to need tree bark, fertilizer T2. Ah. Let's go take a look at fertilizer T2. See what we need for that. Let's see what we're gonna need. I, uh, let's see, we need regular fertilizer, algae, two methane cartridges. Okay, that's not too bad. I think we can do that. Let's get three, one, and two of these. That should give us our first stage of the fertilizer. And now we need squash and two methane cartridges. Squash, two methane cartridges, and what else was it? One algae. Okay. So fertilizer T2, that wasn't too hard. I think, actually, did I have one over here? I had lots of them over here. Ugh. All right, and we're gonna need an oxygen capsule and a tree bark. I think I saw a tree bark in here, have it. And uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab some water. There we go. Grab us a little bit of food on our way through. Oh, I had one on me. And let's see if there was an oxygen here. No, there's not. Oops. I got a new mouse, too. I'm having a little bit of troubles figuring out my controls. <laughs> Just a wee bit of a problem. All right. What do we need for oxygen? That is the two cobalt. Okay, 
let's go get this thing built. Now I'm I'm thinking we're probably gonna end up putting maybe another bio lab over here. We'll end up putting several things over here, I think. Let's get this incubator built first. Oh, power. I have not been paying attention to power. There we go. Got our power back. Let's go take a look and see what we're at on power. That should give us... Uh, 300. 272. Okay. We'll make that work. Let's get back over here and see what we need to get for this incubator. All right, so DNA recipes and the, open the incubator. So butterfly, bee, silkworms. Okay, so for each one of these, we're going to need a mutagen and a fertilizer. So yeah, that sounds like we're going to need to have a bio lab over here. So let's take a look at what we're going to need for a bio lab. Okay, that's not too bad. Two osmium, three super alloy and aluminum. Let's get that. Have you checked out my Discord server yet? Here you can find links to creators and people that are putting out entertaining content. You can ask questions or provide feedback and help contribute to video and series ideas. Also get notified first about new releases, streams, and find links to behind the scenes or unpublished content. So what are you waiting for? Join with this code or through the link in the description of this video. I changed my mind. My prerogative. Um, you know, got to thinking about it. Having to move grow beds, having to put, you know, everything back over there. I don't mind the idea of putting that over there. But we're going to have to be over here close by to all this anyway. So let's go ahead. Can I put a door on this? Titanium. Let's get one more titanium. Let's just go ahead and put it uh, right up above here. So that way, you know, because we've got all of our food growers right here. We've got the bio lab. It just, it kind of makes sense. So let's do that. Uh-oh. I think that's just a normal one. I think that's just a normal one. Let's put it in like right like that. Yeah. So we're going to put all of that over there we're not going to tear this down over here we're going to go ahead and use it um but for now let's go ahead and get the incubator move it over and let's get to making some stuff okay incubator is moved over here and now let's see what we're going to need for bee larvae so we're going to need uncommon mutagen and fertilizer Okay, there's our fertilizer. It should be everything we need for our first. Hello. You're common. We'll put a spot in here for you guys. So, uncommon, mutagen. Uh, uncommon, mutagen, fertilizer. And doesn't know what we're going to get yet, right? Okay, let's hit it. All right, I'll be back. All right, we're at 91, 94%, and we get a bee larva. Sweet, we did it. Okay, so now with that bee larva, now we can make the beehive, so we'll need another fertilizer and a bioplastic nugget. So there we go, let's make our beehive. Now I will put the beehive up over here. So like I said, I think this area is gonna be our biodiversity area. We'll grab that. Oh, look at... <laughs> we have bees. We have bees. We can open the beehive. Okay. So we're going to get honey out of that. Well, that makes sense. 
does make sense. So I wonder, do I need to put flowers around this? Probably wouldn't hurt, would it? So let's look at what we're going to need for another flower spreader. So we're going to need two more fertilizers and a super alloy. And two water bottles. Okay, let's get that. All right, let's build our flower spreader. Just makes sense. And uh, I said so put a tusk in here, which is a 400. I'm going to go and put the, the Nolna in here. And the only reason being is just to give a little bit of diversity. I've got several of these that are that are growing these. So just to give me something a little bit different over here. See the pink. See? That'll look nice. All right. Let's check out the beehive. We got our first honey. Ooh. I'm going to consume it. I don't know. I probably should have kept it. I don't care. That's cool. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at our score. See what we've got going here now. All right, insects, 50, 58%. Call it 5.48 on our GTI. Oxygen's doing good. Heat's doing really good. Oh, we're going to be at 750 in no time on that. Uh, pressure could probably be doing a little bit better. Biomass is doing really good. And uh, we should be getting now, we should be getting, yep, yeah, we're getting insect. So long way to go to unlock. I know I just saw a seed, uh, tree seed that unlocked, which is good. But the next one's the buyer, the uh, butterfly dome, which is coming up, and that will be in the next episode. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. This is Shino. And uh, again, let me know how the audio sounds, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.